Hello, and welcome to another episode of Marla Plays. I am Manuel. I am Perla. Yeah, we're going to play another round of Monster Prom XXL, and this time we're going to try to do the, the... What is it, the second semester? I think so. Yeah, okay, cool. What's up? How you doing? I'm doing good. It's been a while since we've been back here. Yeah. All right, let's see. Two players. There you go, second term DLC. Yeah, full game, game. Oh. yeah. Cool. Are you going to try to go for Miranda and redemption? <laughs> Get some redemption for what happened? Because I I messed up. <laughs> Just press A. Just <laughs> register your controller. Okay. Man, you absolutely uh, butchered my times. Spooky high school. The sweetest years of our lives. Back then, we were young and unafraid. Oh, so that means you're the narrator in this one? Yeah. Okay. I mean, cool, cool, cool. cool. Right. Sometimes reckless, sometimes brilliant, sometimes just stupid, but always willing to live life to the fullest. We were on a wild journey to discover who we really were. Oh, yeah. I was Vicky last time. I am player one. Mm -hmm. Are you going to stick with Oz? Yeah. Yeah, so... Okay. I'm just wondering, like, should I use Vicky as, and like, have it be that, like, Damien and I broke up during the last, like, spring break or something, or summer, or another. Goodness, I don't know. <laughs> Winter break. <laughs> sure thing. Uh, oh, oh. Do you want to see more Vicky? No, Vicky's happy with, um, with... Damien? Damien, oh my god, yeah. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> Yes, I'm good. I'm going to try someone else. Ooh, imagine if you go for him again and you're just trying to steal her man. <gasps> no, Ooh, but the drama. Drama. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to go with him. Okay. Okay, right on. Right on. Custom name. He looks like his name is Butch. No. Butcher. No. Butch. Ooh, G, G, Go, 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 Gor, Gorgi, okay. go, Gors, Gorgi, Gorgi. Gorgi. Or should I do double E? Gorgi. 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 Okay, I'll go with double E. This is taking yeah. longer than I George. thought. I'm so sorry. Gorgi. 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 And we had yet to experience its ultimate challenge, the monster prom. How many proms are in this school? Uh, That's the idea. second semester. Yeah. Oh, Does I do. Oh, my bad. Oh, Ooh. was it different? I remember it clearly. Three weeks were left, and as we fantasized about our dream prom dates, we were all scrambling to catch the attention of one of our eight most charismatic classmates. Scott Howe, 21. Again, why? <laughs> A werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly huge heart. I love him. <laughs> you were doing really well with him last time. Yeah, I probably would have gotten Scott. a date. <laughs> yeah. Miranda Vanderbilt, 19. Uh, the one that got away. <laughs> yep. A sweet mermaid princess who was as cute as she was genocidal. <sighs> Holly Geist, 22? Question mark? Because she's a ghost. Mm -hmm. Our party goes with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. Mm, nah. Damien LeVay, hey baby. <laughs> hey baby. Hey boo. Hey boo boo. A fearless demon with a taste for destruction and a love of fire. I know that love of fire. <laughs> ah, Liam de Lion Court, 4XX. <laughs> a hipster vampire whose standoffish demeanor hid the fact that he was truly a lovable dork. Nice. Zoe Forever? What? An eldritch cutie who went from endless de deity of the dark realms to ultimate fangirl. Oh my god. Calculester Hewlett Packard <laughs> V1.0. <laughs> Uh, oh, okay, okay. A library computer who had become a sentient robot ready to experience life to its fullest. He wants to find love. Oh. 
And Vera Overlin, yeah, 23. A mean, yeah. self-made Gorgon with a merciless sense of business. She's all right. She's all right. It was clear it had to be one of them, but who? Who? We only had three weeks to choose our prom date, and even more daunting, we only had three weeks to woo them and conquer their heart. But as I already said, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. Start! Hmm? Are we uh, telling each other who we're going for? I am trauma. No. Okay. I guess I'm okay no. Let's keep it yeah. Secret. If if we like bite all like randomly or we discover that we're actually going for the same person, um, I think that would add a little bit more drama too. Okay. Right. Okay. Welcome to Monster Prom stupidest pop quiz ever. All minds are rotten, but they are rotten in so many different ways. Worry no more. We're not using our PhD and bullshit to di diagnose which kind of deviant sickle you are. Monster Prom stupidest pop quiz ever. TM will throw a bunch. Of okay, I've already read this before. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. We can just skip this okay. part, I guess. Yeah. So it's basically the quiz. We'll see what our stats are. Uh, you build a hundred foot statue commemorating an event so that in a thousand years archaeologists can learn something about the people of our time. What does the statue represent? Mm -hmm. Whoa. Okay. Uh. uh this I mean I don't have an X but I have been stopped from doing embarrassing things so <laughs> that's 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 always good <laughs> I am creative and you are fun yeah what is your soul emoji the emoji that speaks the truth of your soul mm. Mm. we got snowman octopus emoji Caucasian guy with turban because fuck stereotypes no Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> you know, fuck stereotypes. Be who you want, as long as you're happy and you're not hurting anybody's feelings. How, how, am, I, how am I having trouble with this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm still creative. What's the sexiest type of knowledge a lover can have? Ooh. Okay. <laughs> Lyrics to all Disney songs, yeah. that's what I have. That's what I bring fire. to the table. That's what you want. How to set stuff on fire. No, that was young Perla. Um, Dude, I would take pieces of like poems I've written and just burn them in the sink. What the fuck? <laughs> I've told you about this once or twice before. Manuel has a really bad memory. Oh my, I guess so, but... Love popping fireworks younger. I, you know how much I have a problem with like a uh, fucking lighter right now? Huh. When I was younger, no issue. I would like <laughs> burn the tips of my fingers and like be what? okay. What? Are you, what are you saying? I used to like setting stuff on fire. <laughs> okay. Well, it's. I mean, there's somebody who enjoys that that piece of tip. Oh yeah, yeah, I got Miranda. Yeah. I didn't see who. Damn it. Which one did you choose? The top one, top left, the Disney one, I think. Oh, me too. That was Miranda. Oh, okay. Uh, what could trick a hey, what criteria. criteria would you use to name your children? Uh, something simple and friendly, like Bobby and Mary. We already have our kids' names picked out. S swear, yes, oh, we do. God. Child plus current version based on birth order. Uh, what? A non One of them is non heteronormative. Are you okay? Yeah, no, I'm just wondering. I'm just like, no, yeah, honestly, that's us. Mm. Ah. That doesn't mean we're going for those people yes, that they recommend. Yeah, it's just we might have a better chance. We might have like a better chance. Like last time when I was doing the quiz, I got Damien as like the, one of the pop ups, mm -hmm. and I did really well, even though I fucked up like twice. <sighs> <laughs> so I went for somebody last time. I'm not gonna go for that person again, I believe. Okay, me neither. New, yeah. completely new person. Yeah, because if you go for the same person, you're just essentially ripping away the the happy ending you gave yourself previously. Yeah. All right. All right. Okay, let's do this. Ooh, you're smart and creative. Oh my god. Yeah. Jesus Christ, but I'm kind of money. Like um, you're medium money. Oh yeah, we remember how last time when we were, went to the bathroom and we did saw the shop and we didn't discover that before <laughs> that day you listen to your elders and learn valuable lessons 
Sometimes after all the monster nonsense and the dating gimmicks, you forget that attending class is supposed to be the primary activity at this high school. Pretty much. We didn't go to class last time. You gave us two smiles. You notice Miranda trying to put a smile on Liam's face. This should be good. Oh yeah, that's me. Mm. <coughs> I simply do no wait, that was not how I did it last time. It was cutesy. Uh, yeah. Princey. I simply do not understand how you can be so gloomy all the time when the world is so full of wonder and magic. Eh, I guess I'm just not part of the Everything is Beautiful Club. The Everything is Beautiful Club? Is that a secret club? What? Uh, oh, oh yeah, totally. I want to join! I want to join! Oh, how can I join? Liam seems totally sexually disinterested in considering this gag, but you have no such reservations. You tell her. Hmm. This is you. Second like, I mean, uh, yeah. you can, I know you say you're not going for Miranda, so but awesome. why is it putting you in her sights? Maybe, maybe, maybe she didn't mean to, uh, uh, like, deny me a, a date for the prom last time. Maybe really there was like some, a second chance? There was maybe some sort of circumstance <laughs> or something. Oh man, man, uh, don't be a simp. <laughs> <laughs> oh my love. Uh oh. You, you had Miranda some membership forms you whipped up in picture chop. They're totally fake, but she's loving it. Oh yeah. my god, you didn't go for her? Miranda fills out all the forms and skips off to mail them to 1234 <laughs> Fairy Dust Lane. Aren't you worried about what'll happen when she finds out you made this whole thing up? You are, kind of. But when you run into Miranda later that week, she's super excited. It worked! The Everything is Beautiful Club accepted my application! I'm sorry. They said I'm the first applicant they've had in centuries. Recruiting is so hard when you're a super secret club. They even gave me fun glittery stickers to put all over ugly things to make them beautiful. But I haven't used any of them. You know why? How majestic. Because everything is beautiful. <laughs> Miranda lets you borrow some of her stickers. You're pretty sure you can find some ugly people to stick them to. You gain plus two fun and plus one charm. Uh, I don't know You're if I should. You're gonna Oh, oh my no. love. I know some. I know who I want to go for. It's just I didn't know where they would be. I know, right? As, uh, or. Does the the faces that pop up on our thing affect who's gonna be coming for us? Potentially. God damn. Ugh, fine, I can't move it anymore. You just go Ooh, up and down. I like how I look. Okay. I'm attracted to myself. <laughs> that day, an epic dodgeball match takes place. Everything seems lost, but you deliver an inspirational speech that fuels your team's spirit, leading to a spectacular comeback. Nice. You're clearly, clearly a natural born leader. You gain plus two charm. Am I voicing him? No. Are you voicing yourself? Yeah. Cool. After that, you engage in a deadly match of truth or dare or death with Polly. What? And that will be a super interesting event to cover, but then the two of you spot Miranda and Liam. What the fuck? <laughs> in an intense conversation, and that's bound to be much more interesting. I, I don't. I think because Miranda popped up on our stuff when we were doing the PhD thing. Maybe. Hey, uh, babes. Oh, wait. Ah, I remember. Hey, uh, babes. You were making quite a noise, and I love anything that makes quite a noise. What's up? Hey, you two. Miranda and I were having a creative disagreement. You see, we wanted to start our own school club. What's with you the know, clubs? You know. What? What's with the clubs? Continue. You know an intellectually rewarding extracurricular that enriches their minds while probably not being mentioned ever again in the future because continuity of the school seems to be a bit random. <laughs> Are you okay with that voice? Yes. Okay. Why? Nice! Let's do it! Y'all know my fave things in the world. Drugs? <laughs> Sexual activities? Noise? <laughs> No, dummies. That too, but I meant chess and Russian literature. Stop treating me as if I were two-dimensional. Oh, no. Let's start a literature club. No. <laughs> Mango's traumatized and <laughs> Doki Doki Literature Club. No. Huh, I'm not sure. Do you remember what happened last year when we joined the literature club? We wrote dope poems. Oh, are they friends. referencing it? What? No, oh. the other thing. Ah, oh, fuck. Yes, that's right. So weird. I almost forgot. I mean, that's how I died, you know? What <laughs> the fuck? Anyway, thing is, Miranda and I were already reaching two ideas. I propose we start the club club. 
what? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that just threw me off a little bit. Club, club, club. A delightful meta club where we enjoyed where we enjoyed ourselves by designing and crafting new school clubs. Boring. I no wait. No, fuck. Boring. I proposed a little pony sweet dreams club, a club where you we spend our nights learning how to tell the right bedtime stories to ponies. Oh, that's that's pretty adorable. Stop You're cute. sipping. Sorry. <laughs> just kidding, I can't just help kidding. it. She's adorable. Oh, okay. Whoa, you two really know how to sound two dimensional. But in any case, can't you both just do your own clubs? No. Our lives are fueled by the conflict and confrontation that can only be solved by choosing between two options. Mm -hmm. That's why we need you to choose which club is the best one because George and Gorgie. Gorgie. Gorgie always I'm gorgeous. <laughs> oh, that's, that's adorable. <laughs> nice one. Because Gorgie always seems to choose based on who he wants to ask it from. Uh, you. That's a little too meta here. So, which one should we go for? Just remember, one of the ideas includes ponies. Hmm. Hmm, a tough choice. Mostly because I'm like super drunk right now. Hmm. Tough choice indeed. It's your opportunity to convince Polly of one of the options. Because no one is preventing you from making choices based on what you want to ask. Who would oh, you want to ask? Ah, oh, so night to me comes as a nightclub. The best club is clearly the club club because I'm just some confetti. <laughs> 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 ah. Yeah. And so you throw lots of colorful, happy confetti that you carry with you when you want to cheer people up. Oh, I'm so sweet. Mm. Alongside your black and white sad confetti for more solemn situations. <laughs> <laughs> confetti! I love confetti! I also value confetti as a very valid argument. So club club it is. <laughs> I must admit defeat. I must admit confetti is pretty nice. Maybe Liam was right the whole time and I wasn't able to see it because of the lack of confetti in his arguments. <laughs> really? That's what you really needed to be convinced? I'm this close to arguing with you about you changing your mind. Mm -hmm. But you know what? What if we started designing and crafting our club club now? It will be the first of many clubs we create. Huzzah! <laughs> your silliness and cheerfulness is stupid but nice, huh? You know what? As a club club president, I think this sec... Uh, I think the second club we can craft and design might be a Little Pony Sweet Dreams Club. <laughs> ah, Liam, there's a little fluffy purple heart deep down under the hater facade, isn't there? Lil. Lil, 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 Lil. Not Little. Shut up. Okay. <laughs> oh, Aww, everyone is happy now, and you might be into conquering that little fluffy purple heart eventually. For now, you gain plus two creativity and plus one fun. I am very fun. Interesting. Oh. Not that bold, though. Everybody <laughs> chooses a brand. Say your choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. Pepsi. Brand. Okay. Uh, uh, Gucci. Player order is decided based on how normal it will be to name your first child after the selected brand. Start debating now. Gucci's more normal than Pepsi. Is it, yes, though? But yes. think of the scholarships a child will get from oh Pepsi. Oh, my God. Sending Pepsi how, to college. And it's not, it's not about sending them to college, man. It's how normal it would be to name your first child after that brand. I need to go first. <laughs> Thank you. Week one, noon. <sighs> Who are we going for? <laughs> Who are uh, we allowed to go for? Um, I mean, like, do we, is it better to go for Miranda and Liam because we have a higher chance of it? Because I was not going for I'm any going of I'm going for what my heart wants. <sighs> Come on, sit. You find Scott and Damien shoveling hot dogs and mashed potatoes into their mouths while Coach cheers them on. Do you want this one or me? Go, go, boys, go! <laughs> Munch your way to victory, and there is no truer sport than an eating contest. What is Damien wearing? I like it, but I'm just like, what are you wearing? Ah, for, I forgot the voice I gave him. Kind of uh, like a dumb. Tenth, sweet. Coach! Uh, no, no. Tenth. Tenth? Tenth, tenth Crutch. Oh, then he's, scratch. He's, he has too much in his mouth. Oh my god, I thought he was having a stroke. <laughs> Shut up. Let, let me eat. <laughs> it looks like it's a pretty fair fight so far, but where's the fun in that? Time to step in and tip the balance. Ooh, who do you want to distract? Who do you want to ruin? I don't want anything to do with Damien. <laughs> 
<laughs> and holy so ketchup. I, wait, wait. Does, it, does this mean if I do it to someone, then it I'll might get, mess them up? You're distracting okay. them. Okay. No, no, no. But like, does that mean that I'll get the opposite one? I think so. Bruh, you never know what these freaking. Oh, ah, yes. Yeah, okay. Oh, you want in? No. <laughs> oh. Okay. You pull out your bottle of Brother Caliente's father's son <laughs> and the Holy Ghost pepper ketchup and dump it on Damien's hot dogs. And Brother Caliente. Go, go. Uh, mm, yeah, finally a sauce hot enough for... Oh, fuck! My soul's melting! <laughs> Vicky, come get your guy. <laughs> Power through, Damien. The heat you're feeling is just the fires of determination. No, fire I can handle. This ketchup is fucking consecrated. I'm having an allergic reaction! <laughs> I'm allergic. so sorry, I'm killing Damien! Oh my god! <laughs> allergic reactions are just weakness, leaving the body, Damien. Keep it up! <sighs> I'm pretty sure that's wrong and dangerous advice, coach. I quit! Good job! Well, well I guess I I guess that makes Scott the winner. Congratulations, Scott! Ah, fuck, I keep forgetting this guy's voice. What was it? Dumb sweetheart. Yeah. Uh, like, hooray, I love winning. Yeah, like no. Hooray. A little bit more um, lighter. Hooray. You're doing you're doing too much in the back of your throat, I think. Hooray! I uh, love I winning. I want him in the back of my throat. Oh my um, god! <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! A little bit more, not squeaky, but a little higher pitch, but just like just like a dumb, lovable jog. Okay, know. okay, okay. Uh, I'll give it a shot next time. Okay. Okay. Great. Hooray. Now will someone take me to the nurse's office? <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, Damien. I feel so bad. Hooray. I love helping. Like that? Mm, I, I think you're doing it... You sound too much like an adult instead of like a... <laughs> what do I sound, normally You sound like sound you have like... a mortgage instead of like a party boy. Hooray. I love helping. No. I don't know. You... Okay, okay. Scott rushes off carrying Damon's smoking body and notice and you rush to just get a little closer to Scott's heart. Alright. Goodness gracious. You sit down with Zoe and Polly. Zoe why would why? What who are you okay. Zoe's slurping sanity out of what? <laughs> Tupperware container with several of her mouths and Polly isn't eating anything at all. You feel a little uncool for being the only one at this table eating normal food. Are you going for the elder chore? Yes, I am. Speaking of... <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, let me... <clears throat> oh, okay. I trust you in whatever voice you Ooh. give. Okay, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Speaking of eating food... Oh yeah, Manuel, I can read your thoughts, sorry! Why are you even here, Polly? I hate it. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm just else? No, well, I mean, if you want, if you don't feel confident with them, then I don't. Yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. But it's just, she's an eldritch whore. It's just like I thought, like the voice would be like weird. Maybe, maybe because she's an eldritch whore, we should try to read the the voice at oh, the but same she's time. To be a fangirl. Oh, okay, okay. Let's, Good, let's uh, try that. Let's try but that just normal thing. voice. Uh -huh. Just normal. Oh, okay. You don't put on a voice. Just read what it says normal. Okay. Okay. And then Polly. Why are any of us here, Zoe? The universe is vast and full of mysteries. No, no come, come on. on. I, I mean, mean, why are you here, here in the cafeteria? The cafeteria? <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, that's so awesome. Okay, okay. Right. okay. Three, two, one. I mean, Miranda, Miranda comes here to supervise her eating serves. And Liam, Liam comes here, here because he presumably feeds on food pics. Liam, uh, honey, Liam. <laughs> uh, I, I wanted to say Liam so bad. One of the voices is having a stroke. <laughs> but, but you, you don't, don't feed on, on anything, anything at all. all. So why, why are you here? Why, why aren't you out doing drugs or getting laid or something? Um, well, because... <laughs> She's confused too. <laughs> It seems like Polly might be on the verge of an existential crisis. Those are really serious for ghosts. Save her! <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, Polly comes here because Seeker backs her reveal. Polly comes here because fuck she can do with her uh, So, I... I um, uh, do you want help? Uh, because I think the fuck it, she can do what she wants, will get Polly to like you. Yes. Ah, oh, thank God. Okay, cool. Yes. Yes. The truth is... OMG, what? What? I am actually the ghost of a famous chef. 
Wow, wow this, this is, is definitely going, going in my next pick. With Chef Gulia Childs, Martha Buart, Gordon Ramsay, but a fish person? Uh, I don't know. I was pretty high when I died. <laughs> but like, I'm really good at cooking when I'm sober, which is not often. So I must have been a chef, right? <laughs> That, that is the, the only logical, logical explanation. explanation. I, I hereby declare, declare this canon. canon. You're <laughs> proud to have been here for this historic moment, even if you know for a fact almost everything Polly just said was bullshit. Minus the cooking part, you've been there, and she's actually pretty decent at it when sober. But who are you to steal this moment from Zoe? She winks at you with one of the bottomless pits in her face. Oh my god. Nice. Yes. Let's trade places. I want to try to fill that bottomless pit. Anyway, um, <laughs> I, I think I think we should um, pause ah, it right here. Okay. But yeah, um, I'm really feeling this run. I feel that <laughs> this is my chance at one true love in this game. <laughs> I'm glad you said in this game because I was about to fucking <laughs> go off. Anyway, uh, I have been mad. I have been Perla. Thank you for joining us in another episode of Monster Prom. Stay safe, sane, and smiling, everyone. And sexy. Bye.